Hey guys, hey Chess here. And yes, back to Resident Evil 2. But the remake. Now I know what you're thinking. He's crazy, he's doing more Resident Evil 2. Well, I'm doing it because I wanna. So let's get the shenanigans underway. Okay, so we're gonna do a new game. And since in the original Resident Evil I did, which is considered canon Claire A. Leon B, I'm going to mix it up a bit for this, and I'm going to go for Leon A. Standard. Raccoon City, an industrial city in the heart of America, and the one Leon S. Kennedy was assigned to protect and serve. As he drives towards... No, got cut off. Damn it all! Oh, that okay, burger does not look good. Walking home from the bar, this woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know, so I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now, how many drinks did you have? No, oh, man, I, I barely had a buzz on. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer, and I got a good look at her. You got to see her eyes, her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Like a corpse, like a walking corpse, man. <laughs> Sounds like my wife. I've never seen anything like oh, that. Oh, snap. All right, calm down, buddy, calm down. Just, hey, you gotta stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, they'll sink to the teeth of you. Oh. I should attack somebody. Oh, come on. Just getting good. Eyes on the road, jackass. Eyes on the road. around that's weird <laughs> blood hope oh, this is not Chris's blood ah uh, classic Resident Evil all right so here we go, Leon, as we can see, graphics are better, we've got that over the shop Resident Evil, uh, over the shoulder Resident Evil 4 angle going on, but with, uh, you know, ability to shoot and move on the go, and uh, yeah, this wasn't in the original Res 2, so uh, let's check out what's going on in the Miz Oil gas, gas station, eh? Anybody there? Ah, hmm. uh, convenient flashlight. Something's not right. Ok, 
Okay, let's check it out. Ah. You all right? Don't move. I'll be back for you. Okay, let's check it out. He's pointing in here. Hello? Anybody back here? Stop moving. Officer, you need help? Stay back, sir. I got this. Oh, you so don't have this, sir. Oh, he's heating him. You can see the flesh in his teeth. Oh, it's a zombie. Let's kill it. Nice. Oh, it's locked. Damn. Oh, man. Hey, what are you doing? This one locked me out. What a jacket. When I need it. No way. This can't be. Oh, nice. Okay. There was a door here. I remember seeing it. Where did I leave it? There it is. Key in. Unlock. And I'm getting the fuck out of here. Jesus. That guy's a zombie. So is that guy. Some of those sweet dodging skills. Run, Leon, run, run, run. I'm lucky that the police officer decided to leave the keys in his car so Leon could drive off in it. What the hell is going on? I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Live around here? No. I'm looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Well. It's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. 
That's a comforting sign. Welcome to Raccoon City. Oh, with umbrella. Resident Evil Do Attention all citizens Due to the citywide outbreak You were advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need God, this is so unreal Police station's not much farther. You'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. End of the line. Like we're walking from here. More like running. Yeah, good call. Oh, Bam! Clubbo! Sorry, Claire. Must have been that bean I had for dinner. That's the one. Shit. It's everybody. No. Well, this game definitely. Oh, well, the remake definitely shows you more that Raccoon City's completely gone to hell. There it is. The you don't spend a lot of time out in Raccoon City. The last time I said you did in the original. Leon. What if that's the only gate in and you've just locked Claire out? You check ass. 
Okay, so... Once again... Back in the old RPD. Well, in a moment. Have a check what else is around. Nothing. Just refreshing my memory. Okay, we're going in. Hello? Is anybody here? Yes, there is. There's a first aid spray. And some bullets. Let's put those straight in the gun. Okay. Item box. This wasn't in the main hall before, but I'll take it. Okay. So, I've got this laptop. Maybe it's nice orange glow. Let's take a look. to be someone here. Not good. David! Marvin! You there? I found a way out! It's in here! Send reinforcements! East hallway! Find that guy. To the east hallway. <laughs> okay. So keep out. Hmm. No. Well, that was helpful. Squeeze under. Okay. And one thing this game has got nailed down compared to the original is atmosphere. And how the station's supposed to look derelict and dark. And how Leon has to rely on the flashlight to see. It is awesome. You got this. Leon there just reassuring him son, that he's got this. Luckily, I'm playing the game, so it'll be okay. I need to go in here for some bullets. Not oh, while I'm in here. Let's turn the light on. Okay. Take Leon, put you back into it, lad. There you go. Dead bodies. Open up! Hurry! Open up! I'm coming. Open this goddamn door! I'll get you out! Please! Come here, help me! I got you. Give me your other hand. We saved half of him. And his notebook. Officer's notebook. 
Got his statues. Free somethings. Leads to the way out. Okay. Let's get a full clip in because we are gonna have to fight. Out. Out. That'll do. It's time to go. Jesus, they're everywhere. Get in, get in, get in. Come on, this way. Ah, get it off, 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 get it off. God damn it. Run, 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 run. I couldn't. I couldn't. Here. <clears throat> I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. Does anyone know what started this? Not a clue. But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Yeah, well, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Okay, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Hopefully you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Ellie. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. <clears throat> this is good news. We can get you to hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie. You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. Him. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out. Or you run. Got it? Yes, sir. <laughs> there we go. We've got a combat knife from Marvin, and Marvin has told us to get ourselves the hell out of here. Save ourselves first, so... You know. Leon's got to follow orders, he's a good cop. I need out of there, enough I need to put away, really. Luckily we're still alive thanks to Marvin saving our ass. Marvin will just sit here. Can't talk to him. But he'll uh, he'll come up again later. So I wanna head up here first because this is one of the statues that the notebook told us about. It is the Lion Mom. So if I go Officer's Notebook, 
The lion one is Lion Leaf Bird. And that's his first one of three medallions we need. So if I run back down here. And put it in here. The first third of the objective is done. Nope. Marvin. But the passage isn't open yet. Marvin just commented on that Elliot was right. The officer that was uh, we only saved half of. You now we need to go through here. Luckily we got the combat knife from Marvin. So we can open this up. Now combat knife. This is not Res Force combat knife. This is very different. This combat knife breaks. So you can only use it so much. It is also used as a defensive item if a zombie is where to get hold of you. And they do break quite quickly. So her here, so we'll put that in there and we'll go just go run back to the box. I don't want to carry too much on me. Speaking of, yeah, I'm still fine. Okay, so. No liquor! He does not pass the window in this one. Hello, sir. Ooh. He is not looking good. No, we'll go back. I'll start that from here. So, record of events. September 25th. We're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make safe... So, hey, make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many as, po many as possible. September 25th. Addendum. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. September 26. A mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it to safety behind the emergency shutters. But surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure if we can fix any of our comm equipment, so we remain cut off from the outside world. September 27. There was another clash on the west side of the station around 1pm. 12 people died and there is only a handful of survivors left. Everything's falling into disarray in here. David Ford. Okay, let's quickly check this place out before the zombies break in. More bullets is always useful. Bolt to get through there. Zombies in. I'll take the map. And go this way. Up, over, and gone. Tack, 
Cop really wants a candy bar. Please be dead. Okay. Hmm. Is this open? Yes. More bullets. Nice. Now, call me crazy. But I get a suspicious feeling this guy's alive. Shit. And there's a bullet sponge. Go down. Okay. Hopefully that's the last of him. So in here I have a safe. Which I need a co I need a combination for. I don't have it right now. So we'll be uh, leaving that there. Operations report. September 28th, 2.30 a.m. It's just down to me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. We're not going to make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently, there's a secret tunnel under this place, left over from its museum days. I brushed her idea off before, but now it sounds... It's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof there's even a tunnel or there's or that the sewers aren't infested with zombies, but I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try and find out what I can about the tunnel. Elliot Edward. The guy we met, the half a guy who gave us the um, book. Uh huh, a note. Rookie's first assignment. Leon S. Kennedy, we're putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is... to unlock your desk. The key to your success is in the initials of our first names. Put the letters in order of our, of our desks. There are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Make sure you get them both. Basically, your first task is to remember your fellow officers' names. But you, you figured that out, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might take a little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer. Lieutenant Brenner. Scrolled in a corner between the drops of blood. Be glad you're not here, rookie. Well, he is now. So we need to look at the other officer's desk. So let's have a look. Name. N. Neil. So we've got an N. It's just the first names we need. E, we've got Elliot. And D for David. So, our first password is Ned. Nice. This guy's not quite dead. Let's go kill him. 
Okay. Um, gunpowder. Uses of gunpowder. Helpful. Gotta like that kind of uh, where you get an item and then they give you a description of how to use it. That is good. Good design. I like that. So, gunpowder. Handgun ammo. Gunpowder times two. Shotgun shells. Gunpowder plus high grade gunpowder yellow. Mag ammo. High grade gunpowder yellow times two. There's not a lot of ammo left around the station, so make good use of any gunpowder you find. Different guns require different ammo, so pay attention when you're combining things, or you won't get what you need. Straight now, straight to the point there. Okay, so as we can see, this one fell on the floor. But it looks like we've got a G for George. Well, that's what it looked like anyway, from here. Yeah, George Scott, by the looks of it. R for Rita Phillips. And M for Marvin. So, MRG. Mr. G. And Leon's first assignment complete. Oh, yeah. High capacity magazine. For the Matilda, Leon's current handgun. I'll take it. Okay, so for the moment, we're done in here. There is the far door, but I don't have the key for it, so... Oh, for crying out loud. Ugh. Come on. Move, 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 move. Okay, got him. And my knife durability is down by half. God damn it. Told you these things don't last long. But we do have a safety deposit room, so we'll enter here next. So, we've got some lockers with numbers on. Unfortunately, the numbers for two and three are missing, so we are very limited on what lockers we can open. But I can open 106 and 109. One and one zero nine. Now they're currently the only ones I can open, as all the others, as you can see from the diagram on the side of the switch, begin with two. And since I'm missing the two, I can't open it. So what have we got in here? A roll of film. Sweet. And... Bullets! Oh, boy! Oh, and in here... A sweet-ass shotgun. But it's locked. And I don't have the key. So, we're going to have to come back for that. When the time is right. Let's see what this... Says here, storage locker terminal memo. It appears that the keypad to the locker terminal is missing a few keys. I suggest that the person responsible for this mess find some spare keys and fix it right now. In brackets, you know who you are, bastard. Who else, f who else fuck up this badly?
You have got to be shitting me. I killed you. Now stay dead. Do this in time. Yep, I'll keep him out. Okay. Herb and into here. Ah, uh, good old safe room. Okay, so ditch the herb. Keep the roll of film. Ditch the magazine for the minute. Ditch the gunpowder. Everything else I'll keep right now. Right, let's open some lockers up. More bullets, always useful. More gunpowder. Sweet. Medicinal benefits of herbs. Humans have used herbs to treat sickness and disease since the dawn of time. In this book, we'll explore three such herbs native to the Arkley Mountains. Green herbs have the ability to heal basic injuries, while blue herbs have long been used to treat poisoning. As for red herbs, while they are visually appealing, they offer no medicinal benefits, or so it was thought until recently. It is well known that combining herbs together produces blends of high of blends that heighten the herbs effects but it has been discovered that the red herbs can play a big role when mixing properly according to one doctor of asian medicine mixing blue and red herbs together produces a blend that will strengthen one's constitution Truly, we have only just begun to realise the full potential of these herbs and their ability to heal the human body. Further research is sure to yield even more fascinating results. Sweet. So that's explaining that where the red herb only used to be any good with the green herb for a full heal, it now has properties with the blue herb to give you extra endurance, more defence. You'll be better at taking hits. So if a zombie bites you, you won't take as much damage. It's particularly useful in boss fights. Speaking of red herbs, got me one. Sweet. Film contains evidence, do not leave out. So if we use this. Commemorative photo. It's of a Kingly looking statue guy holding a book and a scepter. Alright. Uh, okay, so let me just quickly swap out that from one of these. Dub it, dub it. There we go. Combined. And I'll take a full mixture. Along for the ride. And there's yeah, time to get up there, guys. So I'm going to end this part off right here. So there we go, guys. Once again, back into the breach with Resident Evil 2. Back in the RPD. Once again, surviving the hordes of zombies. And it's only just begun. But it's sure to be a lot more epic than the original because, as you can already see from the small amount I've played this game, it is awesome. And there's plenty more to come. So stick around for that. Before ending this off, as always, I'd like to thank you all so very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.